Thanks for staying with us. <laughs> a teacher's job is to take a bunch of live wires and ensure they are well grounded. That's a quote from D. Martin. In short terms, teachers are life molders. Now, the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Songwulu, presented brand new cars to 13 outstanding teachers in the state yesterday. And the governor made the presentation at the Lagos State Teachers Merit Award 2021 held in Alausa area, um, 2020 rather, held in Alausa area of um, Lagos State. Songwulu, while um, appreciating all teachers in the state, said never again will the reward of teachers be in heaven. Whilst this is a great start and a highly commendable gesture, um, is it enough to improve the quality of teachers we have today, um, which will ultimately impact the quality of minds that we are churning out? Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 You know... When I saw the story, this was the story that Lamy was supposed to take yesterday, but because of the technical um, issues that she couldn't come on during what's in the news segment, totally. she couldn't take it. But when I saw that story, I thought, you know, we can't let this slide no. because it's a story that, you know, that, you know, all the time we see this play out. Exactly. But it's almost like you are cutting the branches, you know, and not treating, and not the, treating the, problem the problem from the root. Yes. Now, I now did a little research, right? Mm -hmm. A little research. They said on average, um, on average, government school teachers in Lagos State earn salaries in the region of 58,000 Naira monthly. Mm -hmm. The entry level salary for teachers in Lagos State um, is around 46,000 per month. Salaries of Lagos State teachers in level 14 above is about 81,000 above monthly. Mm -hmm. This was a report that I saw online. Now, I went to the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the U.S., some U.S. teachers will return to in-person schooling in the upcoming weeks, and some school districts have already started the school year. So let me just quickly run through what they earn. Okay. About on an average, the U.S., right, on an average is about $61,730 monthly um annually okay. then in new york i think that's about eighty five thousand eight hundred and eighty nine. so i did mm. the pain to calculate this money mm -hmm. in naira mm. right sixty one thousand seven hundred thirty dollars is equal to 29 million 29.7 million annually convert that to a monthly salary that's about 2.47 million naira monthly mm. oh, that's the average salary of a teacher you understand in the so States. now I am wondering, is it enough for you to just say you want to, and if you put that, you know, I, I thank you for that picture, you know, salaries of um, people working in NMPC, I mean, you see it on the screen, mm -hmm. about 180000 per month, mm -hmm. IT workers, you know, so if you look at all of these salaries, right, mm -hmm. and now juxtapose that with the so salary what? of somebody that. The future of everybody. Even train those in the NNPC. Wait, I will finish now. The future of everybody mm -hmm. lies in their hands. You know, is it mm -hmm. enough for you to just say, you know, you're giving cars? Because you see, it's a good gesture, like I said. But is that enough to improve the quality of teachers that we are churning out and the quality of, ultimately, the quality of minds that we're churning out? Mm -hmm. Is that what a teacher truly needs, you know, no. at, the, at the moment? So we let me hear you. Let me hear you, then I would uh, come to Mori. I, we all agree that that's not what the teacher really needs right now because the teacher needs to be motivated. How is the teacher motivated? Salary structure, the community, and how the community even perceives the teacher, is also, it also plays a huge role because when they say, oh, you are a teacher, they say, I'm a teacher. Mm. You know, that means that you're not earning anything. Nothing is coming no in. Respect. No respect. Mm. Respect is not given to you. So let's talk about the salary structure the salary structure is next to nothing yeah. you see teachers in primary schools or secondary schools being paid twenty thousand meager money mm. and at the end of the day they have to feed their families they have to feed their children and remember there is no clothing allowance there's no yes, sort right. of um, insurance for these teachers wow. let's not talk about the fact that um when there is some sort of mishap they are being um um, maltreated by whoever employs them. Mm. So it takes a lot wow. for teachers to actually say, okay, I want to be a teacher. Most men today are not even planning to be teachers. A lot of time now we're having more women We have as more teachers. women in Because they're the breadwinners now. Would it sustain the family? They can't. Let me come to Maury. 
Mari, what's your initial thought when you saw the um, handing over the cars and all of that? And you know, is that is that enough? You know, I I definitely don't think that it's enough. But I'm I'm hoping that it's maybe a start. You mm -hmm. know, to something much more better or something much more bigger. Maybe it's a. I mean, the fact that they're even giving them awareness. You know, maybe they have like other things, you know, in place for them. But it's, it's definitely. Teachers definitely deserve more than, uh, yeah. Okay. It's not. So it's me, not the solution to the at problem. At all, it's not. So what Something. is? Uh, let me let me bring um, our guest in, Dr. Dr. Vera, Vera James, is a leading global consultant, speaker, researcher, coach with expert insight on educational and organizational strategies. Um, she's no longer a stranger on ways because she's been here before, and we are so happy to be hosting her again. Thank you so much, Dr. Vera, for joining us this evening. She's joining us via Zoom. Thank you, Dr. Vera. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for having me. So, Doctor, um, Can you hear me? Oh, we can Don't hear you clearly. You. Dr. Vera, you heard our little right, banter. Right on this topic i mean when i was doing this research and i read about the teachers welfare because you know it's a good thing everybody to make news oh teachers got 12 cars or 13 cars but is that the real problem we're trying to i mean or that is just a get a fix it quick kind of it's scheme not even a fix it you know let, let me hear dr vera okay okay so um what the governor has done, I think um, it's, it's commendable, it's good, yeah. Mm. But um, like um, I think Maureen said something about how that she feels that there's, there should be something more. I mean, that's, that's, that's um, like too basic. That's like scratching the surface. surface. It's important, it's good, it's exciting that these teachers are, are um, at least today, they have brand new cars. Um, it may interest you to know that in Lagos State, for example, we have over 34,000 teachers in the mm -hmm. primary and secondary school. And um, while, while um, I, I heard that conversation yesterday, I had to go read more about it. And I found that even the 13 people are not all teachers. Okay, we agree that every yeah, one of us are teachers, teachers yes. Mm -hmm. But there are people among that number that are maybe administrative staff and all yes. of that. So we're looking at five, six, seven teachers. I, I don't have the actual um, figure. But I know that there are no more than seven classroom teachers. I mean, that's, we are comparing that to the over 34,000 teachers we have in Lagos. But that's not to say it's not a good or a welcome decision. It's fine. It's okay. But what teachers need today is beyond that. I, I, it, it, will, it will motivate the, the teachers who got it fine, the five or six of them, yes. It would um, also probably motivate others to want to be like them. But the truth is, they are still a thousand or more than 10,000 teachers who are actually that good. So we want to begin to look at the criteria for selection. Thank you. I, I, I tried to follow this closely and I saw that, um, I think there's an improvement with this year because I understand that um, it was, it was, there was no government interference. That's the information that I have as seen on social media. Okay. So it's not, I, I'm not, I'm not privy to whatever was done, but going by the by the people I saw who talked about it, there's some sort of um, 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 maybe a reduced interference. So we may be, we may say that um, some good due diligence was 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 done. But that is not to say that that is enough. But yes, it is it is commendable. It's something to start with. You know but what, Doctor Vera? The major issue. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. For me. The major issue with teachers in Nigeria, in Lagos, is the fact that, let's, let's go back to the basics. The, the, the average Nigerian teacher, how did you get there? I mean, in the public school, for example. Or the average person who studied education at the university level, why did you study education? Thank you. So you, 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 missed, you missed the, can I answer English? you, you missed the cutoff mark. <laughs> so you couldn't make the cutoff mark for another subject. That was why you decided to go to the education. And then you, you will find, have you seen the recent cutoff marks from schools? Hmm. And then education is the lowest or some, some, some very funny. And then you're wondering. So these are the people who will come into 100 level, 200 level, and then graduate in the next four years, five years. The, 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 we are already very, very down, down, down below. We are not even exactly. at half. So when we now get into the profession, it, it, there's this mediocre thing around. So I think that the most important thing is to address 
that um, I'll call it recruitment process. Mediocrity. First, okay. um, how do we recruit people into the teaching profession? What do we have on ground? Again, again, how admirable are the teachers that you see? So That's that you, you as a young person would say, I want to be a teacher. Thank God for some of us now. I mean, we, 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 we try, we, we're mentoring people. We're seeing people who want to be teachers because of mm -hmm. some, some teachers some right now. But how many of us? You know what? the percentage of teachers who look good enough? Thank you, Dr. Vera. For a young person to say, this is what I want to do. Thank so you, Dr. Vera. So we need to begin to look at all of these things. You know what? Okay. I, I, I checked in the, you know, 70s, you know. Yes. People, I, you know, I had mentioned this, I, Several times I've mentioned it on the show. I know my, my husband told me how his lecturer rejected a shell job for lecturing. And, you know, some of the benefits that they enjoyed, good accommodation, there was good medical care, they could save and travel. They lived very fulfilled, like building, you know, better future for themselves, for their children. Mm -hmm. And they were not peasants or beggars in the community. And ultimately, Do you understand? They were and they were the most brilliant minds. They were respected. You understand? I'm even going somewhere. They, they were the most brilliant minds. So, Dr. Vera, when you keep on having these kinds of mm -hmm. lopsided recruitment where it seems that it is the rejects, mm -hmm. the ones that the university rejected, those are the ones that will go into colleges of education. Mm -hmm. And the, the government is still not seeing this. And you are thinking that buying cars mm -hmm. to teachers would solve the problem you know that was what got me worried and i said you know what i think these people are still missing the point because everywhere around the world it is the most brilliant minds that they retain mm -hmm. to come and teach that the next it. generation but here it is the, other way, the other way around but so how so do we even solve yeah. the problem of the mind gap that we have in the country and of education system the, one, the thing is we, we pray for Nigeria every day, but the truth is there's a systemic problem that um, I don't think prayers would do. I mean, I, I believe in prayers, but there's a systemic problem that needs to be addressed. So the faculties of education need to begin to say, no, we want to improve the standard. We do not want people who, for whatever reason, you... The, the interesting thing is, there is you, you, you are unable to study econo economics in the faculty of um, maybe social sciences, mm. And then you are accepted in the faculty of education to come study economics hmm. education. Remember, you are you're going to be an economist at the same time an educator. So that's like having double honors. So you should be, I agree with you, that you should be the bright mind. But it's unfortunate that's where we are right now. So mm -hmm. our schools, our institutions should begin to make things, make this, um, I, I like to use the word recruitment or admission process. process. We need to begin to change it. But if the schools change it, and still the environment, the community, Nigeria, is still not saying teachers are important, then it will still not attract the kind of people like that we want. Mm. So there's a big problem, there's a big gap that we need to begin to address. The government, national, um, um, federal government, local government, everyone should begin to address these mm. issues. And when you talked about your, your brother who, who told you something about um, accommodation and school, that's, that's fantastic. If teachers have, you know, I, I, was, I was thinking about, um, I think I was speaking with some teachers two or three weeks ago, and we talked about having something like a teacher, teacher residential estate. It's not a big deal. Hmm. We, have, we have buildings in Lagos that have been dilapidated, they've been abandoned. Exactly. So if, if we even start with those ones, to, to cater for the people in that locality first, and then look for other um, areas, develop such areas, and put up a teacher estate. Now, this would help a teacher's psyche. Our teachers, one of the problems we have is the mindset. Absolutely. And that's why you see a teacher is a bit so frustrated that will do stuff. Mm. Yesterday, I saw that a teacher was being beaten by a parent in a school. Mm. I mean, these this are the things sense. that teachers go through. So if, you, if, if, if as, a, as, as a country, Nigeria decides to say, I'll tell you this. Um, was it in 2012? I was in um, the United Kingdom, um, Oxford, for a teacher training program. Myself and a friend of mine, we were two from Nigeria. And 90% of the participants were from European countries. All of them were sent Fully by their country, public school teachers. Mm -hmm. Then at the time, my colleague and I, we were both in a private school. Even though we were, we paid our, we, we paid for ourselves, but I, I want to believe that at that time we would have a very minute um, percentage of a public school teacher who would even think 
about traveling to Oxford. For, I'm not saying that they are better off us or whatever. They There's something called exchange it. program. It was fantastic. Mm. The teachers, we, we, we got there, they saw a lot from us and they were like, wow, you do this in Nigeria, teach me. Mm. Oh, you do this in Pol Poland, teach me. You do this beautiful. in, you know, it was, it was, it was beautiful. Mm. But what I'm trying to say is that in that country, the teachers were sent by their government. Mm. And don't also forget that sometimes some of them got 6,000 pounds at a time. As Esther These are students in the <laughs> on 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 the on the um, undergraduate mm. for teacher training programs but here we all still have to pay fees mm. so there is really i i i like the fact that and um, while i was working before there was a program that was introduced um it's called the i teach program i mean that program the idea of that program was just to pick very intelligent people from different field it was beautiful it started very well so you see many first class orders second class orders interested about teaching they came with so much passion learning but somehow somehow along the line some people dropped out because ah, when someone who graduates with, in a, with another um in another um, department gets a job as probably um an entry level staff and you're earning like two hundred thousand or two hundred and fifty thousand there and the teacher is earning 80 i'm talking about even those who earn well at the time that's to so you begin to wonder how do you want to re, re, how do you want to in this very bright mind? <laughs> really so beyond sad. the government, it's what really about sad. private institutions? We need to begin to understand that mm. this and 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 we all know even the national policy states that no no edu, no no country or no education system can rise above the quality of its teachers. I'll tell so, you. And if we know that so well, mm. paper, mm. why are we recruiting? And uh, okay. Also speaking about recruitment, do you know that, of course you know, uh, we're all, we all Nigerians, mm -hmm. what is the recruitment process like? Some people go, I, I, I am, some, some friends are on panels like that for recruitment, for government and all of that. Yes. And while you're getting into the recruitment room, someone's already slipping a paper into your hand saying from so, from so, so, so. ABC. So you pick that paper already, many people who are not qualified even be able to hold a 10 minute teaching practice exercise would get the job ha, and the Vera. one who is able to teach well mm. who understands the pedagogy of teaching mm. will not get the job why because the person is from a different state one mm. or two the person doesn't really know anyone anyone so you these are what? the things that we need to Sorry. begin to look at government Absolutely. please let's look at these very very important issues mm. we're also looking at issues of do you also um, know Dr. that Vera. in very um, in, in countries like Singapore, yeah, mm -hmm. there is a structure of um, 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 a system that shows career path. Mm. So you cannot. I, I, I will not be in a school now. In um, let's say this is um, 2021. Mm. I'm a teacher, qualified teacher. Mm. Ten years from now, I'm still a qualified teacher. The person who joins is still a qualified teacher. What makes me different? What's the difference? So there's this thing. See, that's why we see that in Nigeria, our teachers get to a point where they just relax. Hmm. I'm a teacher, she's a teacher, that person is a, is a teacher. We're then the teachers. highest thing we all want to get to is head of school. What about curriculum experts, even in the classroom? Hmm. You don't have to be a curriculum expert ah, and Dr. then they will send you straight. It's looking like we're going to do part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. <laughs> but let me bring in Mori because <laughs> hey, it's not going to be ending. Let me bring in Mori, then we quickly go on a break. Or should we just take a break first? You know what? Let's take a break. When we return, Mori will come into the conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Totally.